Oh god! Well, I'll give you all the money you want to stop showing me this. Um, so we have a cell shaded 3D platformer, I see. Why do the leaves explode when he goes near them? I don't know. David's a powerful shepherd, apparently. I'll say. Platforming puzzles, good. Awkward yeah. camera, good. Oh, speaking of okay. awkward camera. My name is Chad Shepherd, and I'd like to talk to you about my video game project, David the Shepherd. Boy. Okay, I, I figured so you I would. That I just got back from church, and I have my own message to send. I think that children need an alternative to the crime action games where they play as the bad guy. What? And to Aren't the there sorcery themed games that glorify the occult. Oh man, sorcery games that glorify the occult? This is one of those anti Harry Potter type of people, too. I want to glorify God through a Christian 3D platform game for the Ouya game console. I literally want to scare Jesus into your life. Yeah, perfect! <laughs> the ultimate business plan. I think, don't think you did your research. Sir, can you please don't film on our store? Please, please leave. It's a great sir, place for sir. Christian games to flourish, which makes it the perfect place. See, there's even a cross on the controller. It's perfect. You know, I think he's right. I think the Ouya is the perfect place for David the Shepherd. Design and develop Christian video games. I studied game development as a hobbyist for a while, but then God made a way for me to go to school. Uh, oh, look at that. It's um, the Advanced Animation Film Project. You know, I don't see much actual animation here, though. It's mostly just camera work. All live action, actually. Oh, dude, Jewels of the maker of Jewels of Truth is making a Kickstarter? That's awesome! I spent much of my free time working on Christian video game development. So, Shown here. But the biggest obstacle so this is where you pray a physics engine into this castle of demons? I work a full-time job currently at a phone center to support oh, no. myself and my family, my wife, and my four adopted children. My ultimate goal is to go into Christian video game development full-time. I, I, I want to make that happen for you. I mean, that is a thriving industry. He only has five days left, but... To make 35 grand, there's only 85 dollars pledged. Satan, be gone! So what you're saying is he needs a miracle? ...game design professional would make in a year. But it's enough that I could take and spend a year pouring my heart... 35 grand to support four kids for a year? Really? Great story. Wait, are we kickstarting his family or his game? He needs to take a year off to make the game, he's saying. As far as the Let's game transition. Itself, David the Shepherd Boy is intended to be a 3D platform. Oh, yeah, right. In of games like Can I play Mario Kart, Dad? <laughs> no, it's for Satan. David will adventure through 3D environments to rescue sheep that have been stolen by hungry Also, rodents. giant bees for some reason. Along the way, oh, you never heard of giant bees trying to steal sheep? I don't remember that being a play. Read in the Bible. Ultimately, to rescue his sheep, I envision yeah, epic boss battles between David and a jackal and a wolf Whoa. and a bear and a lion. Dad, can I have a real video game system? May have encountered See, you hear that? You can fight boss monsters from animals that appeared in the Bible. Specifically mentions. Why was? Why is that a thing, though? With David's What's triumph that? over Goliath, the Philistine. <laughs> oh, Goliath, the final <laughs> boss. <laughs> I put myself into this game. Here's, here's his move set borrowed from Zangief. That's his only attack. If this project is successful, that there will be many more great Christian video games to come. No, there won't. Sorry, buddy. And thank you for your prayers. Huh? Oh, that that's his very easy look. Oh. Computer. Wait, what could? Christian graphics. He has, he has an iron cross in addition to the Christian cross on his little controller logo there. That... Which part of the cross do I have to press to turn the game off? <laughs> Forever. And if I do, will the game restart three days later? <laughs> no. No updates, no comments. Oh, here we go, though. If he gets funded, of course, because it's Ouya, he gets double the money. So it's really 70 grand. So that, that mm. if that happens, which I'm sure it won't, <laughs> for $50, though, you do get a button pin, David the, uh, David the Shepherd Boy augmented reality pin. Well, there's two $50 rewards separated for some reason. You could also get a poster, a mini poster. Let's not go nuts. It's only 50 bucks. 
Right. I think he meant to do 100, but clicked the wrong thing. Is the thing because then it just jumps to 200. So uh, three backers so far, and I actually know who those three backers are. <laughs> do you mean the three or? Fa- I mean the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You mean the three that were one and were always still three? The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit came down and pledged $85. <laughs> <laughs> the holy trinity of kickstarting backers the rest is up to you my son let he who has never kickstarter cast the first pledge <laughs> oh man it's not adam and parasite Eve. <laughs> not yet anyway until you make it so oh. <laughs> adam and parasite Eve would be kind of awesome though it would. I, think, I would kickstart that. I think I, I think I need to. I think I know what my next project is. 